what is going on guys it's modded warfare here welcome back to another ps4 tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to mod your games on the ps4 on 5.05 using the new community trainer tool which was released by death rjh who was another xbox 360 modder who came over to the ps4 and has been making some uh, some useful applications so he's cut he's made this uh, community trainer tool which i'll just open up here and show you and it is basically a trainer that remotely connects it's an rpc tool that remotely connects to the ps4 and if we click this button here this will load all the games that are supported so it has cheats or mods for all these different games that you see here and i'm sure more will be added because it is a community trainer so i believe people can add to this so you should see even more games being supported in future um so first things first uh, if you want to go ahead and mod one of your games, make sure it's listed on here. Second of all, make sure you have a matching CUSA. Uh, so make sure the title ID matches. So I'm going to do Dying Light, uh, which is this ver this version here, CUSA 03991. There are different versions, so you know make sure that your version is in here. Um, there's multiple versions of the same game in here as well, so you can see. Uh, the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, there's, you know, four different versions for different title IDs. Nope, these are all the same title IDs, but they're on different updates. So those are the things you have to look out for. So, you know, if you are wanting to mod Dying Light, like I'm going to in this demonstration, then you need to make sure you have this same title ID and that you're on the same game version that's supported. So 01.00 is the base version of the game. So that is the one that you need. So moving back over to the PS4 here, uh, what you want to do is first of all, inject the payload for the trainer before you do anything else. Uh, don't inject the homebrew enabler until afterwards, because if you inject the homebrew enabler first to run your game, and then you go ahead and inject the payload for the community trainer, you might have issues or you most likely will have issues uh, with it failing to inject. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to settings and scroll down to system and then go to system information and that will tell you the IP address of your PS4 which you'll need in order to send the payload to your PS4 from the trainer on your computer. So 192.168.137.55 is my IP address. So I'm going to note that down and then head on to your internet browser. Now this page has changed. Um, this You can go to this uh, website right here, but if you enter the, the old IP address, 108.61.128.158, it's kind of sad that I remember that off the top of my head now, but if you enter that into the URL bar on your PS4, it will redirect you to this website now. And then from there, we're going to go and select bin loader which is basically original. So if on the older version of the WebKit exploit, this would have been called original. Um, it's the same thing. So bin loader is the one you want to select now. Um, or if you still have the old version, then it's original. And it'll say awaiting payload. So it's awaiting us to send the payload from the computer. So if we switch over to the computer now and we go to the settings button here, type in the IP address of your PS4 into this box, uh, leave the port on 9020, and then go to this button up here, and then click the button here to inject the payload. So 25%, 50%, 75%, the payload has been injected. And you can see there it says community trainer payload injected successfully. So at this point, if you have the game on disk, you can just run the game. But because we have a fake package version of Dying Light, I need to also run the homebrew enabler. So let's go to 5.05 and run homebrew enabler. And then we'll be able to get into the game and use the trainer. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start Dying Light. I got that little update prompt because I don't have the DNS servers added right now because I was testing something else. But here we go, game is running. Okay, here we go, we're getting into the game now. So, I've only like just started a new game, so I haven't leveled up really or done anything. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the little console icon, and that's gonna, again, load all the trainer information. 
We're going to scroll down to Dying Light and we're going to click it. And boom, there we go. It says the community trainer has been attached to Dying Light. So now all I have to do is go ahead and put on God Mode. Uh, infinite ammo. I mean, I don't have a gun yet in the game, so I can't exactly show that, but I guess we'll enable it anyway. Um, no reload, might as well. Infinite weapon durability, that I can show that. Uh, grappling hook and stamina. I don't have the grappling hook unlocked yet, unfortunately, either, but I mean, stamina, I guess that works. Uh, freeze part slash item count. Uh, oh, right, okay, so. You know, if I have only one item and I spend it, it'll stay in my inventory. Uh, and then we'll do max money. So let's just switch back over to the game here so I can show that. Um, where are we? Here we go. So you can see it says cash zero um, in the right. It's kind of small there in the, in the kind of bottom right. It says cash zero. I don't have any money in the game yet. And if I go to skills, I am level one only have one skill unlocked so there we go so back over here let's go ahead and do max money let's do max XP now as well click that okay so back here in the game let's see what's happened cash is still zero agility level up oh maybe that did okay yeah there you go it just took I just had to refresh it by earning some uh, some agility points and now my agility's gone up to max and I can pretty much wow I said I wouldn't be able to unlock the grappling hook but actually I should be able to I don't think the grappling hook is in agility maybe it's in survivor okay I went a bit further on here just so that I could unlock everything you have to refresh things for you know for stuff to be added so you know when I set all of my agility really high with the tool I have to refresh that by actually like earning some agility points uh, and so it's the same with money I'm assuming so I have I still have nothing even though I set you know max money but if I go to trade and maybe sell something then that might yep there we go that refreshes it so you can see my cash is now through the freaking roof and I could pretty much buy any of this stuff uh, let's go for this axe right here. And I should be able to equip that now. If we go to inventory. Oh, I already have it equipped. So now I have max money, max everything else, and I should also have... There we go, grappling hook. Which I can now equip. If I can remember how to use it. So I should have... Um, the tool has unlimited grappling hook, so... How do I use this again? There we go. So yeah, that doesn't go down whatsoever now. I can keep using it and using it. Normally there's like a recharge on the grappling hook if you've never played this game before. There's normally a recharge rate, but with the tool you can keep on using it and using it and using it. Oh. And we're just an absolute tank now only right at the very start of the game. We can just cut all these zombies in half, traverse the level really fast, Tra traverse the map rather, not the level. It's an open world game. So yeah, there we go. Pretty awesome. And that's just, just one example. That's one game. That's just one game um, that, this, uh, that this trainer supports. So yeah. Definitely check it out. It's a great way of modding your games because it's all just built into one tool. And I know people have been asking me, like, there's been quite a few people asking me to update PS4 AIO. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's a tool I made back for, like, way back in 176, back when PS4's, uh, the only kernel exploit was 176 uh, firmware. I made it way back then and it was basically a multi-cod tool with payload injecting and a few other things thrown in um, but yeah I've, I can see that a lot of these tool even this tool doesn't have very much when it comes to the Call of Duty mods like if we go to Infinite Warfare uh, it's only got you know ammo god mode jetpack and 
whatever exo enable exo movements which will probably be for zombies um so yeah obviously ps4 aio had a lot more for the cod games so i will be updating that um it won't be out for a while um because i have to because it was built on a completely different using a completely different api and stuff so i'll have to change all of it so it's going to take a while but i will i will get that tool uh, updated to 5.05 .05 and released within maybe the next week or so so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful if you did please leave a like and subscribe link to the trainer will be in the description and i will hopefully see you guys in the next one